Today, I'm going to show you how to bench test all the lights on this Tesla Model S Xenon headlight using a standard 12 volt bench power supply. So let me show you here the what the wire connector looks like up close so you can see. Hopefully this shows through. Zoom in a bit. So, let's see. There we go. So if you can see this, we have four connectors on the top row, three connectors on the bottom. And basically, this top left one here is your common ground between all of the lights. And going from there, the from the top left, the next one on the top row is going to power the xenon ballast in the headlight. The first, the third one there, which is the first little one on the top row, is for the yellow amber turn signal. I do not know what the the fourth one powers, but it is not a light on this. It's not one of the visible lights. On the second row here, the first one powers the high daytime running light. The second one is going to power the bi-xenon solenoid on the projector and that third one, the small one on the bottom row, is going to power the low daytime running light. So let me put this back on the tripod and we'll walk through and I'll show you what each one's going to look like when you put, put power to it. So first thing that I'm going to do here is hook up my ground wire to that top left connector. Now I will go through from the top left, skipping the ground, and walk through and show you each connector. So here's your xenon, which is the second one. The third one, the amber turn signal. Then the daytime running light high. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's the solenoid kicking on and off. And then finally, the daytime running light low. All right, so there's an easy way how you test all of the individual lights on this Model S Xenon headlight.